This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Tuesday. Hello, everybody. This is Alex, and this is the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight from the East Coast of the United States, from New York, New York, the city so nice. Yeah, they named it twice. And uh, if you hear, I, I don't know if you hear the, uh, the uh, I always mention this. I hope you don't hear the, uh, uh, our, uh, the, air conditioner but boy do we need it today oh god do we need it today Ooh, it's so hot how hot is it so hot i saw a squirrel in central park washing his nuts thank you boom i think letterman used to do all those squirrel jokes so i thought i'd throw one in there mm. because every squirrel joke ended with something about nuts okay well it's tuesday and on Tuesday, it's the law. Uh, I have to talk to, uh, I better put him on here. I have to talk to uh, uh, Phil Meyer. If I don't, uh, I, 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 I lose some kind, of, uh, some kind of deal, some kind of um, prize or whatever at the end of my life. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. How are you, Phil? Hey, happy Tuesday. Yeah. Turn up your uh, mic a little bit. Turn up your mic. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I haven't switched over to the other. Uh, uh, is that okay? Or turn it up the, just a little bit more. A little bit yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That, there you go. Yeah. Uh, no. No. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. I can. I can. I'll, I can I'll live with it. Or yeah. How's that? Okay. It'd be nice if it were louder, but you know it isn't. So. Okay. If you can do it, uh, I might be able to do it here. Yeah. Okay. Try that. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Because um, I did turn down my audio here today. Yeah, I tested it a little bit earlier and it sounded fine. But, yeah. uh, am I overmodulating now? No, 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 you're not overmodulating at all. I just had to bring oh. you up here. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I, I was thinking, I don't need GabNet. Uh, I just got a letter from the publisher's clearinghouse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that says, I am guaranteed. To be a finalist and you know to win money for life, guarantee. Guarantee. Yeah. yeah all I got to do is send in for these subscriptions, and. Uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's so, amazing. You know, That's I, I don't need to work. I don't need Gabnet. You know, all the money I get from Gabnet, I you can keep it. Yeah, the Gabnet bucks. You don't need the Gabnet bucks. We have yeah. we have uh, Gabnet bucks. Anyway, I'm trying to get everything here you're, for some reason you're really low tonight and even though i brought you up uh here on this end uh yeah. I, I it does, isn't exactly working right i don't know why that would be oh because that was the base this is the level how's that well still not you know just still not good all right well i guess the thing sucks I, I've got my new personas, but uh, I've got to sit down and have them tell. Uh, they've got to program it. Uh, well, you know something. Why don't you get yourself something simple? Uh, why, why do you I have did. to get a personas? They're not that great anyway. No, well, it looks nice, but I know I, it looks yeah. nice, but you know I they suckered you. Simple. How much do the personas cost you? Eleven $1 hundred bucks. Oh. Okay, look. Uh, uh, there's the personas. All right. That's more than you'll ever need. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, uh, and uh, there is the, uh, whatever that thing is, uh, the mixer with the tube. And that one isn't giving me the volume. Maybe it's seen better days. Uh, I, hmm? Maybe it's seen better days. I, I was going to take it to the office uh, mm -hmm. for uh, Zoom meetings. Yeah, you might want to move your camera over because it's going along the edge of your green screen. Uh, there you uh, go. It's going uh, along the edge of the green screen. Uh, you know, uh, when they upgraded from like High Sierra to whatever I've got now, yeah, uh, the the um, Logitech camera 
mm -hmm. uh, lost its software, uh, oh. and uh, it didn't work on the uh, on the newer thing. And I've tried to download software for a while, mm -hmm. and I could never really find it. I don't think Logitech likes uh, Macintosh or Apple. Why? I'm using everything I've got here is the Logitech. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Logitech, two Logitech, uh, bi fi uh, what do they call them? Bios. Bios? Yeah. 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 This is a 920. It's an older one. I, I bought it about five years ago. Yeah. Well, it's a good camera. Looks yeah. fine. You know. Yeah. I just don't have any control. Yeah. So, I, I do I look sweaty? Uh, no, but what is it? What's it raining or what's the temperature? No, it, it isn't matter of the temperature. It, it's hot as hell. So now I just before the show, about hey, 20 minutes before the show, I go in to get my sodas from the soda thing or a little love. And for some reason, it's just leaking like crazy. I guess somehow it lost uh, some of its cooling ability. I turn the cooling back on so I know it's it's working now. But water. Just tons of water all over the place. So I had to empty out the whole thing, clean it out, wash it out, get rid of all the wetness inside the goddamn thing. Okay. This is the refrigerator. The, the, not the refrigerator, but you know, one of those, those, you know, with, like you have in a hotel. You know, one of those oh, little ice box, a uh, little yeah, uh, little yeah. Little yeah. I think we got to get a new one. That thing is is falling apart. But anyway, so we we got the damn thing, and I I had to like mop up everything, and I had to take all the sodas out. I was doing this, and I had to do it before the show started, right? And I'm pulling it out, and I'm pushing it in, and I'm oh, and I'm sweating like a dog when I get in here, because that part of the house we don't air condition. Yeah. What we do is we close this big swinging door we have that goes into our hallway, and then we turn on the air conditioning in the office, and we turn on the air conditioning in the bedroom, and it kind of cools the whole back area here. Yeah. So, But out there, we don't cool it. Uh, and uh, we do have air conditioners, but even if we turn them on, you know, it's a huge area of the living room and so on. Yeah. So, no, I, I understand. I, I'm in an apartment that has an air conditioner in the living room but not in any of the other rooms. Yeah. And uh, they put new windows in uh, about a, two years ago. So as soon as they put windows in that opened, uh, mm -hmm. I bought an air conditioner and stuck it in the window of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, master bedroom. Well, as soon as I put it in, within two days, I had a letter that said, if I don't get it out of there, they're going to evict me. Oh, right. So, yeah, so they don't want anything, you know, out, out the windows, no mm. political post, nothing. Oh, oh, really? Fuck them. Yeah, I mean, you can, uh, do they have air conditioning in the apartment? Uh, just the living room. Just the living room, but not the bedroom. Right. So I have that swamp cooler that I bought for this office. You should be, you should probably go to the city and complain about this because you should be able to put in an air conditioner if they don't supply air conditioning to the bedroom. Yeah, they don't. So you know, I could say it's an ADA thing, but you know, they'll they'll just tell me to move. <laughs> so uh, the uh, a friend of mine's building eight houses, and I committed for one of them. And uh, it it'll have central air, it'll uh, a garage, two car garage, the the whole thing. And uh, the top floor has two master suites, so I'll have a studio in there, and my I can do my photography and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, then the only thing I worry about is, uh, am I going to qualify for the thing? Because, you know, now to get a loan for $800,000, $900,000, you need to make a quarter million dollars a year. Wow. You wow. Know? And, and I don't make that. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I make half of that. Yeah. So, you know, the, the only, uh, you know, so I'm saying to myself, Jesus Christ, you know, am I going to? Am I going to qualify for the thing? I can't put 50% down. Spent that money. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. You know, right. so, but I, I got to get into a house uh, and uh, not be in, involved with uh, apartments and uh, parking stalls. Well, didn't you have a house or something? Weren't you? Didn't you move out of something into that hovel? Yeah. Well, I sold the house in 2015. Uh, I had, uh, it was on five floors, and yeah. I had 67 stairs from the street to my master bedroom. Mm -hmm. And at the time, it was before I was going to a, a rolfer, and my calves were so tight that I couldn't walk up the stairs. 
And uh, now I wish I still had the house, <laughs> but because uh, I love my it calves there. were tight too. But uh, I, I I really didn't try to have sex with them, <laughs> okay. so uh, was he, was they would the have, they would have mooed a lot. You know, yeah. I prefer I, calves over. over I, sheep. I thought your uh, yours was would, would go bah, bah, you know. bah. Yeah. Oh boy. So anyway, so I, you know, and and then I've been I I uh, I did this whole thing with my uh, with my raid in which I upgraded all my drives to eight did terabytes. You get your last. Uh, I heard you. Yeah, say I got, you got the last one. I put it in, and then today I had to expand everything, and I couldn't figure out how to do it. But I did expand all the drives so that they show up as more. Uh, oh. But it's still the the RAID volume that I am doing something with. It's up to upgrading it now, but it takes about 12 hours. So. Yeah, so it's rebuilding uh, the drives. No, the drives have already been rebuilt. So uh, you put in what, one at a time. What it's and doing it... is there's this volume. I don't understand this shit. There's this yeah. volume, okay? I have the yeah. drives, and then I, I you know, have the drives, and then I have the, the volumes, which is the kind of the array, the RAID. Okay, so I had to redo that, and hopefully when it's through, which is going to be within an hour or so, uh, it will show up as reading all the drives and so on. But it, it, all the drives are coming up as being, having more. I have about over over 21 terabytes of, of space. But, you know, I, yeah. I did that, and then uh, what else did I do? Eh, that was about it, you know. Well, you have a lot more space, but you're using st some as backup. Right. It, it, what do you mean? I have a lot more space. Uh, well, well, no. Uh, a lot of the, uh, some of that do. some of that space goes to redundancy. Right. Exactly. What I'm yeah. saying. Backup redundancy. Yeah. Rate no. I mean, five. I have about thirty-two. I have thirty-two terabytes now of right. stuff in there. Or maybe that. And maybe not that. But twenty-eight, something like that. Yeah. Because now I know that people don't care about this, but I, I've got five, eight terabytes. See, nobody knows what we're talking about, so and, we really shouldn't even do it. And but the 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 thing is, is I went to RAID six, which meant that I've only got about 21, 24 uh, megabyte uh, uh, terabytes left uh, that aren't redundant. Yeah, you see, I'm not doing RAID six because I, you know, I don't expect more than one drive to go bad on me at a time anyway. So, yeah. Well, it, yeah. it's a beautiful thing because they say uh, drives will go bad. Uh, yeah, well, I yeah. And and the fact of the matter is that. Uh, uh, you know these things ensure that you don't lose anything. You know, right. and if you do RAID five, you it, 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 if you lose more than one drive at a time. But how many times you, do you, have you blown two drives at the same time? Yeah. I've, I've never lost the drive. Yeah, uh, I did when I, I first put in this RAID. I lost three of them. Apparently, the the, the enterprise drives that I bought were bad. You know, but yeah. nevertheless. Uh, I, 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 I bought reds, and then uh, Joe Burrows told me that reds are for a NAS, not for a, uh, you know, uh, what I have, which is just storage. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I have, have a, a uh, I got this thing, Exos, Seagate Exos. Yeah. Yeah, and they're for, they're, they're for NASs as well, so I, I, I'm happy. I'm, you know, hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. Life I remember care. back in the late 80s, my accountant bought a uh, one gigabyte drive. And I don't remember how many thousands. No, wait, I'll of tell you, when I first, when I, my first hard drives I ever bought, I put into a IBM computer that I had, the original IBM PCs. Yeah. And up until then, I had had two floppy disk drives, big five and a half inch disks. Me too. And and I went out and I bought my first hard drive and it went in there and I was living large because it had twenty megabytes wow. of storage. That was big. Yeah, it was huge. What year was that? Do you remember? No oh God. Oh God. When I first went to work at uh, when I first went to work back in San Francisco, I believe. Nah, you you yeah. had, when you were in Sausalito, you had an Atari. Uh, yeah, I had an Atari, but then we bought these PCs. Yeah. See, because my business manager knew a guy who was selling these PCs. You must and, have moved and, to San Francisco. And he got us a deal on, on two of them. I think we paid 3000 a apiece for them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that must have been when you moved to, North, uh, to the marina. Yeah. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, it yeah. was the marina. 
Yeah. So it's it's amazing what memory used to cost back then and what it costs today. Well, what memory on hard drives used to cost. Right. Memory itself, you couldn't get more than what five hundred. What was six hundred and twenty k? Six forty k. You're right. Six forty k. Yeah. yeah six forty k. And then they figured out a way that they could add more memory, and so you could leapfrog that. There yeah, was, and, there was, and they, I don't want to explain it to people, but there was this gap. But today, mm -hmm. when you buy a machine, I mean, the memory they've got is, you know. It's, well, and also back in the day, you can only see 80 characters on your green screen. And that wasn't the green screen for the, <laughs> for the video. That was yeah, uh, yeah. just a little... Uh, just a little thing. Remember, it was eighty characters. Yeah, was. Yep. I think the yeah. Well, that was uh, that was the Atari. They only had eighty characters across yeah. the screen. Well, I had a Moro MD3. Yeah. Uh, that was around the same time as K Pro, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the other early. Yeah. You know, this probably is boring the shit out of people. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. Who cares? It's my <laughs> show. This thing anyway. I don't We're care. On. You know, but uh, 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 but I, yeah, it is. It is in fact. You have 26. I have 26 people watching. Big deal. Yeah. Remember when I used to have thousands? Yeah. yeah. And hey, you know, you'll have thousands again. You know, you just, uh, all you got to do is uh, stand. You know, somebody had posted that uh, homeless people yelling and screaming uh, must know something that we don't know. I mean, they're the ones that walk down the street and they're and they're yelling at somebody yeah, that doesn't like exist. It. Maybe they're the only sane ones well, out there. I think my friend Dana Gould used to have a bit he did about. You ever see these guys walking down the street? They're going, "You think you're a sailor? I'm not a sailor. You're a sailor." Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, you don't know what they're doing or who they're talking to, but maybe there's somebody like a hundred miles away who's responding to what he's saying. Well, you know, I am a sailor. <laughs> yeah. The early Bluetooth earpiece. Yeah. You know, because now people walk oh, around. Oh, now when you walk down the street, everybody's talking to themselves. The crazy people have to do find something else to do with themselves. It, it, that's right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So how was your week? End? Or, well, yeah. there was something good that happened this weekend, but I can't talk about it till next right. Tuesday. What is it? A week from Tuesday. A week, huh. yeah, a week from next Tuesday. So. Oh. Good. I'm, I'm happy that good things have happened. I'll, I'll talk about it then, but I can't yet. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, I'm going for uh, cigars Friday night with uh, one of your listeners, Brian. Brian. Yeah. Brian? And uh, not Brian. Uh, well, I could ask Brian, but uh, I, you know he's usually not. Well, you a didn't cigar. ask me. Well, come on out. <laughs> you know something? I hate cigars. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hate and I hate being around them. Yeah, it, it's, they're really annoying. It's a male bonding thing. But I don't think it is. I never male bonded with, uh, uh, you know. Yeah. With with well, uh, with. And, uh, and uh, now look at you. Well, <laughs> what was the only male bonding I did? I think I and some other guy had sex with the same woman, but there was. Yeah. Well, you know, you shared a joint, you know. You, look at I this. Mean, this bothers me. I can't, why, I looked at this tonight just before I went on. I was going to go change my shirt, but I didn't have time. I'm getting, you ever see those ads for the guy, oh, you've got some droopy collar, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so you've got to use a certain detergent or something and make it. Yeah. Make it tighter. Tighter. You, that and or buy a shirt. You can't, you don't, don't pull on it and it won't droop. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but it was it was it was tight yesterday. At least that's what she said. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see what else is going on. Uh, you know, Trump. Uh, uh, I, knew, I knew you couldn't go. I couldn't the go half hour go. without mentioning Trump. Yeah. Well, go. you know, he's down at the border. Uh, Why? You know, he, Why? Well, Why is he, he planning on doing anything down there? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? So he's looking for property to put a hotel. Yeah, right. There's a lot of migrants coming across the border now. Yeah. You know, and, yeah, and they and, need a place to stay, right? And the yeah. government will pay to put them up. Yeah, so build a hotel. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so, and they'll probably have better air conditioning in my apartment. You know, so. why doesn't he just realize he's not president? You know, there are people out there who actually I believe he's going to be president in August. You mean he's not president? No. 
No, but there are well, people that yeah, actually I, believe he's going to not he's going to be president again in August. Well, it's a long shot. You know what they'll no, do? No, it's not a long shot. It's not even close to a long shot. Okay. Well, uh, listen to how right. long Look, the shot is. Put it this way: it. Would you bet on it? Oh no! No, no but, of course not. <laughs> but I'm not a betting man. Uh, you know, I, I think betting's for suckers. But yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, so what? What's happened is, he thinks that if the Republicans take the Congress, that he could be appointed. He doesn't have to be a congressman. He could be appointed Speaker of the House, and and then <laughs> when uh, so he'd be third in line for the presidency. So if Biden and Harris. Uh, elope and go off to another country, maybe yeah. Iran. Uh, yeah. Then yeah. Uh, they'll abandon the White House, and he'll be a he'll be president. Now that's a stretch. That is a stretch. <laughs> but you know, it, to begin I, with, I, you have to, you know, you have to assume that if he became a congressman, they'd immediately make him Speaker of the House. He doesn't have to be a congressman to be Speaker of the House. Oh really? He could be Donald Trump. Oh really? Uh, oh, okay. Regular guy. Well, then I guess yeah. there is a chance. God, I'm. Uh, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, I think I'd go you, bet on you him. Look out. I go, Trump, I'll go. Trump's coming. Yeah, Trump's uh, coming. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, now the other thing is, uh, yeah. your um, uh, New York AG, Attorney General, mm -hmm. uh, for two two years has been saying, "I'm going to get Trump." Uh, you know, we're going after him. People are saying Trump's going to jail. Well, no, he hasn't said that. I guess, that, I guess that's not going to happen. He hasn't said that. Uh, it's close enough. No, he, he hasn't. He hasn't. Everybody, he, everybody else has said it because he, they said he, the New York AG has got shit on Trump. And so, therefore, Trump is going to and he's going to be in orange uh, uh, slacks to match his hair, you know, uh, or orange jumpsuit. Here's, here, here's, here's what it's all about. Boy, what, what's happening? Hold on a second. Let me just get rid of that. Let me see. There, we cleared it up. Good. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, uh, where was I? Uh, 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 Trump. Oh, Trump. Oh, no. They, they they have never been in this in this particular case. The AG's case has never been against Trump personally. They it's got the been, one guy. No. It's been against the corporation and that they had malfeasance in the corporation. Now they may have uh, they have said they may have other stuff about Trump, but they will reveal that later. Well, they they have something against this Weisenberger or whatever his name it, is. It, 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 it's a question of it that they are want to charge the Trump organization for right. malfeasance of well, running their business. Got, right, right now all they got is this Weisenberger, and he was taking some apartments, a free but car. He, but that's not, that has nothing to do with the case. The case that's is that the clear. corporation as a whole filed bad tax returns, that they did a lot of things that were not uh, uh, on, on the cute, uh, what, what's uh, what, what's uh, yeah, the word? It looking? wasn't correct. It wasn't uh, correct. They're going after the company right now. That's what the AG is doing. Now, he hasn't ruled out, he said, we haven't ruled out going after Trump himself, but that's not on the table right now, and that's exactly what he told Trump's lawyer, who then ran off to the press and said, oh, Trump's off the hook. Well, his company's not off the hook, and the AG said that he wasn't necessarily um, throwing out the idea that later on down the line they're not going to charge Trump with something. Well, right now, all of those Trump haters that thought that Trump was going to jail, it doesn't look too good. Well, I, you know, um, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't sit around all day hoping this guy will go to jail. It's just not in my, I got better things to do with my life, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, and I get a little tired when I turn on MSNBC and they're always going, oh, good, oh, good, the, the AG's doing this and doing that and, Oh look! They're, it looks like they're going to throw Giuliani in jail, and oh, you know. Well, I'm sorry. You know, I. It's sad that these people uh, have come to this point in their life where they have done such bad things. Okay, that maybe they're going to wind up in jail. I don't want anybody to wind up in jail, but if they deserve it, I suppose they deserve it. Yeah. You know, but they're certainly not going to get. You know, when somebody uh, gets. Uh, it, it, some guy sells marijuana, gets 20 years. That used to be the case, right? Yeah, used to, 
Yeah. I had a friend. Yeah. And, it, it, the Giuliani's oh. never going to get 20 years, even if they find him guilty of something, you yeah. know? Uh, I, I had a friend that spent eight years at Attica mm -hmm. uh, uh, for about a half a pound of marijuana. Really? Yeah. Did, did you know. feel that, by the way, as long as you're talking about uh, metting out of justice, how do you feel about the, uh, the resolution of the Derek Chauvin situation? Do you think that was a fair... Uh, well, uh, it, was it supposed to be 12 years is the, uh, is, is the, uh, is the thing, but he, uh, this judge felt that between 20 and 25 was the deal, so he just picked it down the middle at 22.5. And he'll probably be out in what, 12 years, I guess? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's going to be an appeal. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be an appeal, but uh, who's going to say if that appeal is going to work? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I just wondered if you, if you thought that it was a just verdict. I well, mean, a just I, sentence. I, I don't understand what Chauvin did, why he stood on the guy's well, neck. Well, no, that, that we none of us can understand, especially oh. why he was doing it with great glee, I might add, while he, he, people were were shooting with their with their uh, uh, cameras, cameras. You know, in fact, the, don't the police know that people do have every almost everybody has a, a video a camera now? Absolutely, you know they they expect to be filmed or uh, a videoed. Uh, but you know, I, I just don't understand what was going through the guy's head. His hand was in his pocket, and he's on this guy's neck. Well, he supposedly oh. he supposedly has had several things against him over the years of, of this kind of behavior. Well, you could talk, you, you hook him up, you throw him in the back yeah. of the car. Look, you know, it, you, you've known cops like this, right? Admit it. Oh, you, actually, known, I you, haven't. You know, you've known cops like Chauvin who no, were just a little I, bit, I, they, I got a, they got a Wyatt Earp thing going, you know? I pity you, those guys wouldn't last through probation. Uh, you know, I have... I was in a department with uh, up to 180 sworn. I think the max we had was maybe 150. So it wasn't the biggest department in the world. You know, you got San Francisco yeah. as like 800. So, you know, but those 150, I, I never saw any of that. Uh, you know, there was cop humor uh, where they would, uh, you know, go have drinks after a, a tough day. Right, and uh, right. and tell jokes because they just had to unwind before they yeah. went home to their families. Uh, it's called church. And uh, they used to just, you know, go out. And I'm not a beer drinker and I'm not a drinker, so I never really fit in with those guys. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's uh, that's what they that's what they did. And uh, just to unwind. But I never saw anybody in 20 years uh, overreact like that mm -hmm. you know yeah. uh to them to a person they remain professional but they would vent afterwards and if you heard the venting <laughs> you, but uh but venting is one thing and standing well, on I mean, if you got your way of blowing off steam and yeah. it's not a, you're not taking it out on people i think right. that's fine with me you know yeah and you know it, it's the kind of humor that uh, that I'm I'm accustomed to, and you know, people would say, "Oh, you know, that's terrible," but you know, mm -hmm. you do those things. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, how's your prostate? Have you been have you gotten your test lately? Or no, I have to go in for a test. It's it's time. Yeah, it's time uh, to do uh, it. Yeah, I you know I kept sitting there waiting for this surgeon to have me go get one. And I, I wrote him, and he didn't write back. And so finally I wrote his nurse, and I got a reaction, and it was, well, you could come in to see us, or you could go to your urologist. Well, you know, it, it's been at least, uh, oh, seven, eight months since I had my last PSA test, yeah. and which is something, folks, that you have to get when you have had prostate cancer. Yeah, as, you got to monitor. Yeah, yeah, you got to monitor it, and uh, I did monitor it, and uh, so I got. A, I finally wrote my urologist, and I said I haven't heard from this guy. I need a test. He says, forget about him. You don't ever have to have anything to do with him ever again. Just come see me. I will give you a uh, a test, uh, and uh, we'll get it the next day, and you'll you'll know what it is. And as it turned out. 
Um, I, there was no, they couldn't, he couldn't find, the, the test would, did not show any PSA. Well, I am very happy for you. You know what I did? Yeah. I joined a gym. And this gym is known as the strongest gym in the area. There, I have never been worked so hard. Uh, they have this sled, and you got to push it in the parking lot, and as many times as you can from one side of the building to the other. And it's, it's 150, 200 feet. And, uh, you know, they're not putting the heaviest weight on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got, wait. You pay for this? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it, it's I never could figure out why you have to pay to get tortured. I, well, it, the torture was so bad. <laughs> day one. Day one, I pushed the thing. And, you know, I'm supposed to go at least twice. Other people are yeah. doing it six mm -hmm. times. I push it. I get once. Mm -hmm. I get to the end of the parking lot, and I'm dizzy. And I, he says, you can't sit down. If you sit down, you'll throw up. So uh, I, I go back, and he's showing me some other exercise with these ropes that you, that, that you do like this. Oh, yeah. And I could barely stand up. And I said, look, I, if I can't sit down, can I lay Why down? Why don't you go to the pussy gym, okay? Well, well this, to... this is great. Uh, uh, I, I have never been so happy. Uh, you know, I... I start at 5.30 a.m. on Mondays and Thursdays and 9 a.m. on Saturdays. Yeah. And it's an hour and a half. Well, I'm and, happy for you, but we've run out of time here. Yeah, well, I, 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 I may have a heart attack before the next show. It's so... Oh, okay, it, well, you know, I mean, I, 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 how, much, how much do you pay for this, Jim? Three fifty a month. Three fifty a month to go in and get tortured. Well, thank, bravo for you. Bravo for you. It's called Diablo Barbell. No, it's called Do You Have Fuck You Money? That's what it's called. Anyway. Well, all right. Hey, it's good talking to you, my friend. Same we'll, here. we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, let me see here. I got to I got to get my camera here. Oh, here we go. Do that. There we go. By the way, I, uh, here's something I did. Uh, maybe be interested. I want to know what you feel. Uh, I I have different backgrounds now, and I'm thinking of going to another one for the kind of the New York City background. Here, here's uh, no, that's not what I want. No, here's here's wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to find my camera. There we go. So anyway, let me uh, do this. So here, here's the uh, here's a, a, a new background. How that you like that one? Just let me know at some point. That's number one. That's candidate. First, we got the original one, and that's candidate number one. And here comes candidate number two. Okay. Okay. So, which one of those do you like? Either one, the original one, or one or two. You can just kind of let me know. Uh, so far, that looks to be okay. You know, but. Yeah, that's a, again there it's it's moving because if you look i think the cars are moving on the bridge so anyway let me uh, go back to my original okay this is the one we use oops this is the one we use all the time okay here we go there we go different background anyway let me uh let me there are only three people waiting tonight well fuck it you know if we don't get too many i'll, I'll just turn the show off early you know, that's always possible. Uh, let me see here. Let me let them in. Okay, they're, here they come. Uh, they're, uh, they're jumping in. And, uh, okay, we got, uh, we got Jeff and we got Charlie Wallace and we got uh, Alan. Hi, guys. How are you this evening? Hi. Huh? I was watching Phil and you cut him off. You're awfully low tonight. Mike? Yeah. How about you, Charlie? Talk to me. Oh, I'm doing good. Huh, I guess I maybe I just have to turn this up more. Maybe. Uh, yeah. I just set mine at medium. Well, I just I just moved it up. Just moved it up. Mm -hmm. You know. I heard you fine while you were talking to Phil. Mm-hmm. But, but that's that. But uh, you know. Well, here comes Josh. Ooh, Josh Wheeler, mm -hmm. on a Josh Wheeler on a on a on a on a Tuesday, and here comes John Larkin. Josh, what are you doing here on a on a Tuesday? Usually you're working and you can't do it. And so, so what do we owe the pleasure? Well, I'm here tonight. Uh, we uh, I'm off 
you know, now for a few weeks, but we're not going to leave until the morning. Now, I, I actually ended up taking off a day earlier. Mm -hmm. We had so much to do by the time I get everything done. We couldn't have left town until like 6.37 in the evening. So. Yeah, how long are you going to stay out on the road? Um, Probably about nine or ten days. So I won't see you on Saturday, I guess. No, probably not this week, no. Right. But well. I think the next one will be okay because... I, I, we really never come home like Sundays or whatever. That I really hate coming home. Do you like to come? You like to come home and have yeah. a day or so home before yeah, you go back. Yeah, I, I really work. I can't come home like Sunday and then have to go to work Monday. I mean, it's just especially yeah. when we've been gone for yeah. like ten days. Oh, so. good, good. Have a nice. No, one. I think we'll be good for the next one. But yeah, have a nice like, vacation. Yeah. And hello to John. Yeah, hopefully, uh, huh? going out west. Yeah. yeah. Hello to John Larkin. How are you, John? Mm -hmm. Hi. I found out today, I, I was literally born a mile away from that disaster in Miami. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Really? I didn't, I, ne I never, I don't ever remember being back in Miami my whole life because, uh, you know, I, I grew up in California in the Bay Area. Wow. Yeah. Let me just check one thing here. Folks, you're going to see a little, little bit of work going on here. I just want to make sure that my audio here is okay I hear, I hear you fine oh here we go there we go okay there we go talk to me folks yep yeah okay. that's much better oh, mm -hmm. okay all right all right all right it had to do with that okay oh. and everybody saw what i had to do the magic i had to perform here actually on zoom i can't see what you're doing i can go to youtube and watch the rebroadcast or whatever and see what you do yeah yeah well anyway so how are you uh, how uh, how how are you doing, uh, Charlie? How's everything in Texas? It's doing pretty good. It's been raining the last couple of days, so it's been cooler. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, we're right now. It is what is eleven eleven, and the temperature in New York City is ninety degrees. Jeez. Nice. Oh, that sounds so nice. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's a it, you know uh, it, it and it's funny because it it. Wasn't all that humid during the day? It's getting humid now. Uh, how's it up in the Connecticut, Jeff? I'm in, um, I'm in Georgia. Well, you're in Georgia. How is it in Georgia? Oh, and yeah. you cannot believe it's calm here. I mean, as far as the temperature goes. Yeah. It's only 80 something or other. Yeah. And it's not that moist. Wow. But as hot as it might get, if you were standing in line to vote, I couldn't give you a glass of water. That's right. <laughs> At least so you better get back from Georgia real soon. Uh, Supposedly, we have some kind of clusterfuck going on with our election here in New York. Oh, uh, this guy won. Looked like he won. What we had is we had this strange thing you did. Okay, you, you, you voted for who you wanted, and then you then put in who your second choice was and who your third choice was, and who your fourth choice was, and who your fifth choice was. And then if nobody got 50%, they would then start doing a whole thing of like, so-and-so got so many votes, and so-and-so got so many second votes, and eventually, the winner might not be the person who initially looked like they won because they were at the top of the list. And supposedly, it's so bad they're saying they're thinking of throwing out the whole damn election. It's, it's gotten it's gotten a little on the skeezy side. <laughs> was number five Trump or something? Um, yeah, Trump was number five. I voted for him. Yeah, he was a great he was a great president. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but I don't understand this uh, this ran this this tiered voting deal it just it doesn't make much sense to ranked me. choice voting yeah yeah uh i you, remember you, that 10 years ago well you have it in california don't you san francisco really yeah yep. and so you you go in you vote for what uh, do they decide whether it's if it's five people or four people you don't have four. to vote for all you know oh you only have to vote for people. one yeah but then if your guy doesn't win your first choice doesn't win none of your second choices would go yeah so what it is whoever gets on the first round whoever gets the lowest amount of void quotes mm -hmm. they what he gets knocked off 
and then they take all the you know they distribute all of his votes to everybody else oh boy yeah well that's what that's what happened here and and it, it looks like it didn't work or something uh maybe i can maybe i can find it here it's it, slow it takes story. a while to count well yeah but uh new york you know are, NYC, are they doing a recount in arizona what? for you uh oh yeah right that's the, the <laughs> nyc uh what is it i'm looking for nyc election let's say <laughs> and let's see what comes up here May, uh, here it is, New York Post. New York City mayoral primary race thrown into chaos as the Board of Elections appears to botch vote count. Now, that's the New York Post. Uh, the uh, Channel 2 says uh, mayoral race uh, Board of Elections says test ballots were counted with, uh, let me see here, test ballots were t uh, counted with actual ballots as part of ranked choice voting. <laughs> just so many stories about this and nobody's saying who won. Um, uh, oh, here we go. New York Times, the New York uh, mayor's race in chaos after election board pulls back results. That's the story I cared about. Uh, yeah, they counted 135,000 uh, 135, test ballots and uh, it looks like it's a problem because what's his name? Eric Adams who is a former borough president and former policeman, uh, uh, ran, yep. did, uh, uh, ran first in the voting, but he didn't have a majority. And now in the recounting, he's lose, starting to lose. And uh, they're going crazy. And over on the Republican side, they nominated uh, Curtis Slewa. <clears throat> you know who yeah. Curtis Slewa is? Yep. Uh, well, I do, because Curtis, oddly enough, after I tell you the story, you're going to say, how's that? Curtis mm -hmm. Lewa, uh is a fan of mine. <laughs> it really. He, uh, he was, uh, I did his radio show a while back. Wow, he says, you were always my favorite. I loved you as a talk show host. And I'm going, Curtis, you know, such a reactionary on the right. How can you even find me interesting, you know? Really? But... Uh, he ran a thing, started a thing called the... Uh, the uh, uh, Guardian Angels. Guardian Angels. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And my mind is not what it used to be. Uh, the Guardian Angels. And this, this was a group of, I call them vigilantes. Yeah. You know, who took it upon themselves to go into neighborhoods and protect the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. In spite of the fact the police told them, don't. Right? And now he decided he would run for mayor after all this time, and he won the nomination. So, Curtis, so the Republicans in this state are crazy too. You know, they don't they don't run somebody who they think can win. They run some reactionary they know is going to lose. It's a, Republicans are dumbest people in the world, and I don't understand why they're so good with money. You know. So. <laughs> Well, that's yeah. it for tonight. Thank you all. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Here they uh, they bioengineered a um, cat with two vaginas. Uh, this is there a joke? Is there a punchline to this? Yeah, they're calling it snatches. So snatches. what's the punchline, John? They're calling it snatches. We heard you. What's the punchline? <laughs> you can see how many people are laughing. Yeah. You know what it is? I heard some great jokes the other night, day when I was watching uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I thought, I got to remember that one so I can tell it on the show. I can't remember what joke it was. I never was able to remember jokes. You know, I could tell them maybe once if I heard them the night before. And then I just forgot them completely, I, you know. Or I would do them, and I'd get halfway through and forget what the punchline was. And you know, you got to mm -hmm. remember the punchline. You know. You know how you can tell a Polish firing squad? They're all standing in a circle. I happen. I, I, I have. From, uh, I, I happen to have some pole in me, and I take great umbrage <laughs> at that. Okay, we'll go to Jew jokes then. Oh, okay, yeah, Jew jokes are okay. Like for instance, two Jews walk into a bar. And they buy it. 
That's cute. That's cute. Yeah. You know how copper wire was invented. How was copper wire invented? Two Jews fighting over a penny. <laughs> I actually got you a laugh. Why is it? Why is it though? You know, I, uh, uh, this is one thing that pisses me off about Jack Bishop. Okay, <laughs> I'll tune him in. And whenever he pulls a joke about me, it has something to do with cheapness. And he knows me. I was never cheap. If, uh, I'd be very wealthy today if I if I was that cheap. I, 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 you know, I wasn't cheap. But he always does cheap jokes because I'm Jewish. Is there something wrong with that? You know. Yeah. It couldn't hurt. Hmm? What'd you say? I said yeah. it couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. Right. To be upset by it? Why don't yeah, you, I guess. Uh, uh, you know, I, I cut off the part of his show that anything that says Jew in it uh -huh. doesn't get through. Well, demonetize him. Monetize, that's the thing. Demonetize him. I don't want to have to pay to do it. So, What's that? I don't want to have to pay to do it. No. <laughs> pay somebody to do it. He, he'll make a joke of that later on tonight. You know? Yeah. 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 Uh, so are we. Mm -hmm. Are we apparently never going to start fixing roads and bridges because we can't find a way to fix every single other thing that's wrong with the entire world in the same it looks like in the same bill? You, you know what's interesting is that 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 Republicans don't even want to fix stuff. No, they're. Just, I mean, I blame this one. I mean, yeah, right. But I mean, I, I mean, look, if the Democrats wanted to fix roads and bridges, they could fix roads and bridges. You know something? No, no. They apparently don't want to because they got too many members of their caucus saying, I only vote to fix roads and bridges if you give me a bunch of other stuff that I want. Yeah, oh, I mean, you know, and then the more that leaks out and the more that situation develops, then Republicans will obviously begin to play their fucking games and muddle that all up. Mm. But I mean, you know... They have an agreement, and then they didn't have an agreement. And then now they say, you know, it might take a couple of more months. I mean, I... I, I, know, I just think... I it, mean, yeah. Look, it's time that Congress of both parties... Okay, but let's start right now with the here and now. I don't want to know or care about who did it before and they did this. I don't, I don't care. This is today. Mm -hmm. If they want to do things, they need to do them in bills that fix those issues. No one is saying that we don't need to support this or do that. I'm just saying, I mean, they literally will not, they literally cannot pass an infrastructure bill to do things that need done because in that same package, we can't get support to American families and workers who need, I mean, all that stuff's important too, but Make a list of the things that you want to fix and start fixing well, them. Why can't, why can't we start fixing them? Why can't or we? You're not ever going to fix yeah, anything. Well, why can't we just pass a bill and not tag anything onto it? Right. You know. I mean, you can't do that right now. And, and again, I don't want to hear about well, the Republican did it before. And blah, blah. I, I'm sorry. The reason you can't do it right now, yeah, is because of the Speaker of the House and the Majority Leader in the Senate. I mean. They're the ones who aren't getting it done yeah, or but, who won't he, he, demand yeah, that it get done that way. But I mean, here, here, here's the thing that I, that I wonder is these people are always tacking stuff on to every bill. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've been told many times when a bill passed, well, you know what else was in that bill? And it was like to mm -hmm. buy fly paper for Washington, D.C. or some, some weird thing. And the only reason it got passed is because they tacked this. What do they call it? Isn't there a term for that when they amendments? Tacked? Amendments? Yeah. <laughs> and, but but yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. Hard. I mean, right? They you know they would have earmark spending, and you know you can tack on an amendment, and then you know they get you know pork special pork. projects, pork, whatever you want to you know call it. Yeah, I mean it's just I mean literally, you know they they can't find a way to pay to replace the Brit Spence Bridge that crosses the Ohio River from Cincinnati, Kentucky that, you know, has basically sure. been deemed, you know, ready to fall down for 20 years, and it's like the third or fourth highest traffic bridge in the entire nation. 
And one of these days... I mean, days, they can't pass what, a bill to replace things like that because AOC isn't happy that we're not going to get the uh, Green New Deal. I mean, again, important yeah. thing. No one is arguing that, at least I'm not. Okay, but then that's a whole other thing. I mean, yeah. we'll fix that after we fix this. Uh, well, I think that what, what, what we need to have, these politicians need to have, are priorities. You know, and say, hey, you know, we do need the Green New Deal, but fixing a bridge before it collapses yeah, but, comes but, first before that. I mean, lo logic should tell you that the larger you make a bill and the more items that you place in it, right. the, the more complicated it becomes. So, therefore, the more difficult it will become to pass it and the easier it will be for your opponents to trash it. I yeah. mean, you know, already instead of spending nine hundred billion on infrastructure, which a lot of people, oh, yeah, that sounds good, right, right. They do yeah. this, this, and this, and then all of a sudden, Republicans are allowed to run around saying, "Jesus Christ, they want to spend two trillion fucking dollars." Last week, they already spent two trillion. I mean, they just make it easy. Yeah. I mean, Democrats make it easy for Republicans to go on meet the press and fucking say shit like that. Right. And there are a lot of people that don't, you know, follow this stuff to the letter who are like, man, you know, $2 trillion for this, that, and, you know, and, you know, it sounds terrible as opposed to let's spend $800 billion and go around and be able to simply name the things that we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to get a new Brent Spence bridge for the 20 million people that live in that area. And then we're going to go repave that 100 mile stretch of I 5 in California that's all fucked up and has been free or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, 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 Charlie has his hand up. Charlie? Yeah, the, the, the problem is you can't get 50, actually 60 votes in the Senate unless you throw in all these extra things in order to, to bribe somebody to vote for your bill. That's why the bills get so big and complicated <sighs> I mean, I historically, you ought know, to just fix one thing at a time <clears throat> yeah i mean right i mean yeah i mean yeah. If, if we did this in our personal lives we would have we hit disaster i mean yeah i'm not yeah, we'd be out on I'm the not, street i'm not going to replace my roof because at the same time yeah. i also can't buy a new car go on yeah. vacation yeah, pay right. my driveway and uh, get all my fucking lawn tore up and get some new turf. Yeah. If I can't have all that, fuck, I'm not doing it. I mean, no one would do that. No. But that's what they're all doing. Yeah. And then they're letting their neighbor come over and tell them what they think you should do. Oh, the, okay, I'll do that then. By the I way, wouldn't want to piss you by off. The, by the way, um, 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 Jeff had his hand up. Jeff? Yeah, you know, I used to develop a lot of products and projects. And I always had a, a simple strategy. You kind of want to break things by phases. And the simple one, the first, you know, the first phase is so simple. It, it's like, you know, we're going to start on Tuesday and uh, we're going to put three people on it. You know, just simple little crap. And it doesn't matter where it is or where it is. Well, you know, and if you're talking about bridges, you say, all right, and we're going to work on, on the big, worst three bridges right now and see what we can learn from them. And I then see. you come up with another phase, which had some concepts like, what are you going to do? What's the budget? What's mm -hmm. it going to take? What's, and you take it in smaller increments. That is so easy to manage stuff that way. And then you start getting into the, the real stuff where you you're politically putting a lot of money in and people have to make a, a more uh, uh, financial decision yeah. and you know and there's steps after that but we don't seem to do any of that kind of shit. yeah well we're idiots we're idiots yeah. by the way uh, well, I mean, I just, look, I'm, right I'm yeah. just saying that in in a lot of ways it, it you know, you could sit here and you could say it's been how many months since the election? It's been six months, whatever. And, you know, 
What what has the party in power? What, what have they done? I mean, you know, I, I mean, I get they passed the COVID relief bill or whatever. I mean, so okay, that's a good accomplishment, which was for a crisis. But like, what have you done for the everyday regular agenda of problems that existed before that crisis? Good job. You came in, you took a hold of the crisis, you passed the this, that, and the other money, uh, vaccinations, all, all that is fucking great. Okay. But now that that is, you know, going away mm-hmm. or under control or whatever, we still have problems that we had before that. So what are you going to do about them? How are you going to get yourself reelected once the crisis goes away? Yeah. And if I had to guess, they're probably not. I mean, because of shit like this, uh, mm-hmm. because I sat here and said, you know, months ago, I, it's great that they're going to win and everything. And, you know, I get it, but you're going to run the same old fucking people up there that you did the last couple times. And you're probably going to get the same result, mm-hmm. which is two years of fucking jacking off and then looking like an idiot. And then you're going to give it right back. And that's probably what's going to happen because you got a schmuck for a fucking majority leader and you still run a Nancy Pelosi as the speaker of the house. I mean, I just, I drive home and I listen to them fucking arguing about their fucking infrastructure bill and it's important this, 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 and this. And I'm thinking, these motherfuckers piss me off so bad, they make me want to fucking vote for Republicans sometimes. (laughs) I mean, that's pretty fucking bad. You know? Like, it's just like, I just fucking turn it off. I don't want to, I don't even want to listen to any of them motherfuckers talk. It's like, might as well just fucking... Vote for a fucking white guy with a fuck stick up his ass. At least he fucking comes out and tells you what he fucking thinks. I mean, it's just, I don't get it. I mean, fix some shit. I mean, he has well, a stick. Uh, so they did pass the, uh, I mean, they have an agreement on the infrastructure bill. It's just that um, it's not enough. So they've, they're they going to do a reconciliation bill. But um, the, the Republicans are going to filibuster both bills because they know that they don't they don't want to see the spending of the you know of the reconciliation bill so they're going to you know filibuster both of them so mm-hmm. we're stuck yeah. and that's yeah. just the way it is we got to get rid of the filibuster exactly I mean, I, that's fine but i i just don't i'm not going to blame the filibuster on mm-hmm. something well, that's, that's what it is for forever it's, it's, on the fact that they can't they can't do their fucking jobs i mean that's but just there's nothing they can do. You can't get rid of the filibuster. There's a lot of things they can do. They can fucking find a way to get it done. I mean, look, yeah. man. <laughs> people that put these guys back in, it's just... You guys are like this sports team with this coach that's five... Oh, yeah, if we just give him a few more players... And this, he, I think eventually he'll start winning, and you've been saying that for like 10 years, and it's like, when the fuck are you going to move on from this, this... I mean, them's the rules. Everyone else seems to get shit done when they want to. I mean, Republican Party doesn't seem to have any of these fucking problems getting shit done when they want to get shit done. Mm-hmm. I mean, fix some shit. Just get it fixed. I mean... What did the Republicans ever fucking fix? They haven't fixed anything in 50 years. Yeah. I didn't say I thought they fixed it. I'm telling you, they thought they fixed it. When they want to do something to get something taken care of, they seem to be able to do it many times. In their minds, yeah. they fixed it. Just because you and I don't think they fixed it doesn't mean they didn't accomplish goals that they set out to do. I mean, I don't necessarily think those things were good either, right? But they, they get them done. I mean, Well, they got know. rid of the filibuster for them. That's how they got their tax bill passed. That's how they got the Supreme Court nominees. Jack, they killed the filibuster for them. Jack's got his hand up. Hi, Jack. Hey, good to be here. Uh, just want to jump in here real quick. Uh, I like what Josh is saying, except for one thing. Democrats are pussies. Yeah. Democrats are pussies. Let me repeat that one more time. Democrats are pussies. Now, if there was some... Did you, it, just, it did you, just, matter, did you just learn that, Jack? No, no, no I'm just re- reiterating what you taught me years ago. Yeah. <laughs> if the Democrats want to do something, what they need to they is say to the sergeant ar- at arms in the house lock the goddamn doors nobody's leaving we're here till hell freezes over until we get these republicans to get in line and nobody gets to go to the bathroom yeah but you also yeah yeah but you also got to get the democrats in line 
you said the Democrats are pussies. And, and, They're also assholes too. The only thing is, politicians are assholes. My, my, you know, I'm as far to the left as you've ever known me to be, right? I think I'm further to the left than you were when we first met. Yeah. And you got to be willing to say to people, you're out of the party. Yeah. You're not getting any money from us. I don't give a damn if, if a green monkey runs, unless you're in line, you're not getting any support. Mm-hmm. Case, case closed. Go run as an independent. Most people, are pr- unfortunately, are pretty satisfied with what they get as a representative. It's not because we don't vote uh, listen, for Listen, i got to tell you something, though, Jack, and then I'll go to you, Alan. Uh, I just got through voting here in New York. i got to tell you, I didn't know that much about the people who were running. I knew who was running for mayor, but then when it came to, like, borough president or mm-hmm. things like that, the lower we got, it's DA, I didn't know who, who was what, and I'm the kind of person... It's meant to be! What are you screaming? Who are you screaming at? Kathleen? Go! What? What? What's going on there, Kathleen? My wife's got aggression in it. <laughs> Can you hear me, Kathleen? Somehow. Can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah, what was that all about? I'm tired of you all. All you do is argue! You don't give anybody a chance to speak, and I'm tired of it. I give up. Well, wait a minute. I'll explain yourself. You haven't tried to jump in here. Every time I do, what? Dad, I'm good. You, but you, all you had to do was raise your hand, and I would have recognized you. No. Anytime anybody says anything. If someone doesn't agree with the with it, everybody argues. That's why this world is so fucked up. It has nothing to do with race, ethnicity, or nothing. It's the fact that none of us will listen to each other. Do you get that? Well, how are we not listening to each other? Uh, you're listening right now to Kathleen's father. You know... This, this, you need to carry this only to the point where it gets to this point, and then at some point in time, you need to get off of it and either grow up or do something. But I, I tell you, at, at you guys' age, knock this shit off. And that's, that's you coming don't have from, to listen. That's, that's from, like, from a full bird colonel, asshole. So you, 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 you take that to the bank. You listen. listen. Shh. Nobody asked you to listen. You can, you can log off anytime. You, you listen. Want. Listen to me. If okay, so one person has an has a opinion. If they don't agree with it, people start flipping out. I mean, you know, last what was it? I will, Dad. Listen. I'm into the future. I will, Dad. I will. You know, last Tuesday, people were arguing with everybody. Okay, listen, when I worked at UPS, we had gangs. I mean, Norteños, Serenos, Crips, and Bloods. Mm -hmm. So when they got into it for fear that they would start killing each other, I would sit down with them, but I put rules. I said, listen, one person speaks and one person speaks only. If you don't agree with their opinion, let them speak. So you you say you want a shot clock? Yeah, but I think what she's trying to say is, you just don't hear yourselves talk sometimes and use all the talk people without realizing it. Yeah, you guys talk over each other and nobody wait, listens wait, to wait, anybody's wait a minute, wait a minute, But I have to, I, mean, I, I have to, uh, nobody here was yelling at anybody tonight. It no, was, no but, The other but, night, oh, the, I agree week. with you, I agree with you. Last Tuesday yeah. was so bad, I took Wednesday off. Yeah, but you don't realize okay. why, Alex. Shut up, shut up, Tony, because you're the one who told me to go that's fuck That's exactly what exactly I'm talking about. No, you know why I'm telling him to shut up? is because he's the one that was really no, nasty. You're blaming me night. again. No, no you, you're not. No, are you going to listen to me, Tony? You're blaming me again. Are you going to listen to me, Tony? Tony, let him talk. Wait, let wait. him finish his sentence. Jeez. You told me to go fuck myself. You know why? Why? Because how many times I've tried to talk on the show, 
and everybody's interrupted me numerous times, but I had class and never said anything. Sometimes I was talking on the show sometimes, why and you just cut me off. Why do you tell you me just don't realize it. Why but do you I'm tell me, you're not letting me talk. You tell me to go you're not letting me talk. No, but, he, uh, but Kathleen, there we go again. here's exactly what I'm talking but about. There we go again. Kathleen, here's exactly what we're ta- we were but, talking about. You know? But I'm trying to explain myself. I've never argued with anybody. So oh, Charlie, really? what, what are you want? doing right I've now? I've never argued with anybody, but there was numerous times. What are you doing? go again. What are you doing right now? Because I'm trying to talk. Without getting interrupted. Well, go ahead and talk. I will, I will, I will leave daddy. the room. I'm going to start a third. I can't finish I'm anything here. I'm going to start a third. I'm not mad, but this is what happened. Right now. Let Tony talk for 30 and, and seconds. We and, 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 you just, and you just lost Kathleen. Because just made, she, that's why she's mad, Alex. No, Jack, she's, I'm not, she's mad. Know, she's mad because what happened last Tuesday no, was a big part. Wait a minute. Let me finish. In large part was because of you. And the reason I wasn't on Wednesday was oh because of you. God. Can I talk? Yeah, I'm leaving the room. Jack. You're right here. I was joking last week, but I'm going to tell you why. My okay. personal opinion. There was times when I've talked on the show and I was cut off numerous times. I didn't care. I never said anything. And I'm not going to mention names off air. But when other people keep interrupting, that's what I think Kathleen is mad about. And I've gotten interrupted and taken a backseat when I was in the middle of points or trying to get some. I don't want to start any trouble with her. But, but then the minute, that's what she's saying. When people get cut off over and over again, it's not my fault. Why? Because, because I said something. But it's almost like that's what she's saying. Maybe you just don't want to hear somebody else's point of view. I didn't tell her to Has say he that. Has he been talking ever since I left? Oh, my yes. God. Huh? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Have you gotten it out of your system, Tony? I didn't get nothing out of my system. I'm not mad. I am. Oh, good. All right, Alex, what are you mad about? I'm mad at the fact that the other night he told me to go fuck myself. Well, it's a good thing he didn't say that to me because I'd have told him been the best piece of ass he ever had. Yeah, yeah. And I told Jack, I told you I was, I've taken many shots on this show. Have you ever seen me ever get nasty? And, and you just, and because of your screaming, you chased away I, Kathleen. I was trying to cover no, her. Will you shut you up a second? Me. Will you fucking shut up? But you're blaming me for Will something that's not true. Will you shut up? Do I have to hang up on you? Go ahead. Okay, I'll do that. Because some a lot of people have been requesting on the line here that I do exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, Alex, you said something once I'll never forget. No mm-hmm. talk show, no interview program has ever really solved a problem. No. Yeah, Kathleen did say something very, very important. She said when this situation arose with factions on her job, she would say, you talk for a while, you talk for a while, and you talk for a while. Mm-hmm. Now, that's not reality. That's nice. That's being in therapy, you know. Lord mm-hmm. knows uh, you and I have done enough of that over the years, haven't we? Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, look, people, mm-hmm. the great thing about GabNet, and I give Alex full credit for this because he came up with the idea, and when people heard about me doing this thing said you actually got damn mind because it's like getting into a ring with a bunch of lions and you guys are lions and that's what makes this exciting this is what makes this thing different than any other uh, informative kind of thing done on the internet or anywhere else well you- I, I i'm surprised a little bit at kathleen because i don't know what she was so overly upset about and her father was overly upset about did, did, did i miss something here you yeah, must have missed something because I didn't see it either. I never met that guy before. <laughs> yeah, well, I met her father. He's a very nice guy. He's a wonderful guy. He doesn't guy. like you, John. But well, he resorted to name calling right away. Yeah, I, you know, I, that whole call was very strange. You know, in that yep. respect. Uh, but you know, I mean. Uh, she called up to say, well, I felt that every... And he, she felt exactly as I felt about Tuesday's show. That's why I didn't do the show on Wednesday. I was so upset by what, what... What? On Thursday. Yeah, get, get your day straight. You're okay. But you, you, actually, Tuesday was Phil. Wednesday was Tony. Wednesday was when Tony... Oh, it was Tony. Okay, then it was when, so Thursday. Thursday was the yeah. day. I took the day minor. off because I just went that... You know, and after this tonight, I may take the whole goddamn week off. You know, I mean, I just, uh, I was so upset by uh, that and by by Tony telling me to go fuck myself. 
You know, I think I've been very, very nice to him. I kid him a lot, you know. I think we so. have fun, but I've been very nice to him. And and uh, uh, and and then tonight, uh, in fact, I walked away here, and I come back, and he's still yelling. Did Did any of you get a chance to say anything to him? Nope. No. Nope. Uh, yes. Ch- yeah, Charlie. That's one thing I wanted to point out is that the day he told you to go fuck yourself, he talked for 15 straight minutes and nobody got a word in edgewise. Tony was the only one that opened his mouth for the first 15 minutes of the show. So, And then he wouldn't let you finish five words consecutively. Yeah. Yeah. You never got to finish a whole sentence. Hmm. He kept, he's the one that's interrupting people. Right, right. So well, most of us can't see our own faults. Lord knows that's true with me. But uh, I'm I'm surprised that Kathleen came on upset about what happened last week. I I don't know what. Uh, quite frankly, I don't know why she started really crying. It, you know what was going on here. What was going on here was every was a lot of give and take in a discussion, but I don't think there was anything nasty going on. Oh, no, John was explaining some stuff, and we yeah. were listening. Yeah, you know, all, the only thing I said that might have set her off is I said to Jack, I said we learned that a long time ago. You know, yeah. and that was about it. And you weren't upset by anything I said, were you, Jack? I don't remember what the hell you said. Yeah, so. Mm. You know, I don't understand what was bothering her and that her father was somehow I- involved in it. Uh, I agree. What went down last Wednesday, I think it was, was terrible. It was horrible. Yeah. Uh, and, and if she wants to feel bad about that, fine. But this crowd tonight is fairly, was fairly so, decent. Even, even Tony wasn't saying anything, you know. Well, uh, maybe. Yeah, well, he really didn't say much last Wednesday either for the first couple minutes while the steam was building up. Yeah, yeah. well, I don't know. You but know. it's unfortunate. Well, maybe it's kind of like with my grandpa. He said he could talk bad about my grandma, but nobody else better. Right. You know? Y- yeah, I guess. And we're always protective of the ones that we are closest to and the ones that we love, except in my uh, family's house where my... Where if my mother didn't call me you little son of a bitch once a day, I thought well, she didn't. Well, the other me. thing I would have to say to Kathleen if she were here was, please don't take this show that seriously that it brings really? you to tears. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It, 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 this is an entertainment of sorts, yeah. and it is not meant to do that. You know, uh, I would have loved to hear t- Josh. Uh, Josh, how did you feel about what just happened? Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know, you know, if I did something to upset them or whatever. No, I mean, I don't no. Know. I no mean, you were being very professorial yeah. in your discussion. I of, don't mind uh, having, like, a go at it with other people type of thing, whatever. I mean, I don't mind someone thinking yeah. it's because of the filibuster, but I think that's a tired excuse or what. I mean, yeah. So I don't, well, I don't think. I, mean, I don't think anybody here... And and I have to disagree with Kathleen's father. I don't even know what his gripe was with what was going mm-hmm. on here. Well, he I, sure turned I, into a jerk quickly. Well, I, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, you know, but like, but don't call when we have that kind of stuff, I mean, I typically will say what I, you know, want to, and then be involved in a back and forth for a few minutes, and then usually, then I'll usually step to the side for 10, 15 minutes at a time or whatever. That's my usual thing or whatever i mean i I know that there are some people that when we talk about stuff like that they don't like the show because they want to they don't like talking about those type of things or whatever so i mean i don't know maybe one of these days you know we talked about this on saturday before maybe move to a show once a week or something where all the people who love to talk about what i think would be you know silly shit can do it all night long and then there's a night we do that we do that on, on we do that on monday afternoons you know, right. so that show is always very copacetic. Know, if that it's had always, anything to do with, I mean, I'm, you know, but, I don't know. I, I, mean, I just don't know what her. <laughs> what, what is that? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't right. think any of it was contentious. I mean, I. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Look, I used to defend Phil when people would get personal with him. Yeah. You no, know, look, I fucking someone call up mm-hmm. here and say Phil was bad or something. I used to be like, look, man, we're not. I'm yeah. not. 
I'm not doing that. Fuck yeah. that. Alan? <laughs> I, I, I don't think John did anything wrong. I think we were all being civil like we usually are, with the exception of one person last week, you know, on Wednesday. I, I think that was out of line. Uh, I, he had no right to be calling you a fuck off and all that. It's your show. I mean, we all call in to have a good time, to enjoy ourselves, yeah. learn things, stuff like that. I don't think John said anything wrong today. John Wheeler. Uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what she felt was so contentious I don't know. in maybe our discussion. Just, maybe last week was really a lot when Tony went off. I don't know. Or, yeah. Or, or I don't know what. Well, I, I, you mean, know, I, I don't know what might else. I hope, she, I hope she's okay. She's a nice lady. Well, I'm I sorry your father to, got involved in I this think, and I started think, with the name calling. I, I, I think you have to accept the fact that some people are more sensitive than other people, depending upon your yeah, life. But I, I, I'm failing to understand tonight what she was sensitive about. Right. Does anybody know? No. I think she just got tired. She just got tired of the discussion and, you know, I don't know. Maybe she just... No, but Not she took it too personally, and I'm, I'm, I, I can't figure out why. And she did call, I believe, again on Friday, and she was yeah, just she fine. Had, she was here. You know, yeah. we had a nice fine show. Fine. And then all of a sudden tonight, she just started in on this, and I don't, I, I, I really don't understand where it came from. It came out of a clear blue sky. How about you, uh, Kevin? Did you heard it right? I did not. I just came in. Uh, I was just a little late because my neighbor is moving away from town, and I stopped by to see that. It was late for the show and mm -hmm. turned it on, and all this stuff was happening. I have no idea what happened. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of coming into a storm. Yeah. Well, actually, I think a lot of us don't know what happened. Well, maybe at some point we'll figure it out. Well, well Phil, Phil Meyer writes, he says, I think the show was fine. This must have been a holdover from last week. Yeah, but she, but, but, that's but, what I think. But too. she came on on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, and it was just fine. I mean, she didn't seem to be upset then, so I don't oh know what upset her tonight. And of course, she's an old friend. I care about what upset her, you know. No, I, think I, we, about, I think we all care about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kathleen, don't be a stranger. But you know, I don't understand it. Uh, you know, um, and uh, as for Tony, come on, Tony. You know. Not right, you know. Maybe he needs to take a week off. Maybe he take, needs to take forever off. No, uh, no, no. Look, uh, he's been a part of, of the uh, Ramble uh, since uh, the uh, uh, Irv, Whatever any, anybody who comes on and completely disrupts a show like that, you don't want on. Unless and tells the host to go get fucked. Yeah. Wrong. And won't let him finish a sentence. Right. You know, well, so. maybe that's why he never calls me, because... Uh, well, you you know, know, you're goes, lucky. You're lucky. In most cases, I, I have to say that. this about Tony. In most cases, he never says anything. That's true. Yeah. He's your Scott Boddicker. No, <laughs> and, but lately he has, and it hasn't been anything that's good. It's him yelling about this, that, and the other thing. And name calling. Yeah. Well, don't forget no. now what just happened a few weeks ago. What did he lost happen? his mom. Yeah, I know he lost his mom. Yeah. That's more than a few weeks ago. Than yeah, that was. Months, you Six know, months back ago. in February or something, and he knows I've always been there for him on that, you know, and personally because I, I've written him and, and said stuff to him about it, you know. So, I mean, uh, but I just, I just, uh, you know, I don't know uh, what kind of blows my mind is what Kathleen's attitude was tonight and where it was coming from because we weren't doing anything, I think, that was. Nothing hey, like last Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, no, that's for sure. Everybody was very copacetic with each other, even Tony at that point. You know. Uh, I think he was just waiting for his moment. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Well, all I can say about last week is I went back and listened to the last 15 minutes of the ramble, thanks to someone suggesting I do it. And I didn't see any reason people got bent out of shape back then, but hey, yeah, you but know, you listened to I'm the last Ohio. twenty minutes. The last twenty minutes. It was got, the first. It was, it was the first fifteen minutes you were supposed it, to it listen. Was to. Oh, yeah. 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 That, that was Wednesday show first fifteen because that yeah. was all Tony. Nobody else got a word in edgewise. Right. Char Charlie's right. Charlie's right. Well, let's see. Uh, Alan, you're not married. 
Thank God, no. Uh, <laughs> Shirley's not married. No. There's somebody. Uh, there's somebody else on the panel that, that's not married. So in my house, if I get five minutes to say something in my house, I'm doing pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's marriage. Yeah. You know. Actually, you know, Alex, you you asked Josh a question. John, Josh was explaining it. We were all listening. Yeah, you, know, listening. Yeah. you know, I, I, I can't see how yeah. anybody would get upset then, by that. We and weren't then arguing Je with them. Jeff Nothing. jumped in and, and said something. I think like. John said something. And then uh, uh, Jack called up, and then he was talking about how the Democrats were a bunch of pussies. And I said to him, I'm, I'm trying to recreate stuff to see what possibly would have sent her off. Uh -huh. And I said to him, I'm surprised you didn't learn that a long time ago. And then you said, well, you taught it to me, you know, and, and that was about it. There was nothing nasty going on here. I don't, she doesn't like the topic. She doesn't like politics. So I think she was just pissed off that we were talking politics. And you might, you might, you might be right. You might be right. You know, yeah. in, in, well, we talk politics a lot on this show. Yeah. 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 Um, and uh, you know, I mean, I, I if, if she wants a show that's that's not politics, the Monday show is one of the nicest kind of called the intersection. Yeah, uh, uh, no, no. I think the intersection doesn't talk politics at all anymore, and I'm bored to tears by some of the stuff. We, we're all bored to tears. Yeah, well, I mean, that's why I, I felt we haven't had stuff to talk about here is because there wasn't. Uh, you know, there was now, wait a minute. Did Alan say the intersection is boring to tears? Did he just say that? Something like that. Yeah. Ah, fuck you. Yeah. No. But I mean, <laughs> I, I, if if Kathleen is listening, you're right certainly you're week. certainly welcome back here. But we, I really would like you to explain to me, maybe privately, what it was that set you off feeling that bad. I mean, when you start crying, and her father I don't involved. want anybody crying on my show. Once they start crying, I know that something wrong happened. And I want to know what go, that but was. I believe, Alec, I gotta go, but I believe this. Remember that great song, It's Your Party and We Will Cry If We I Want, want to. to. Right, exactly. But I, I would like to know why, because I don't, I don't like anybody crying on my show. That's not the reason I do this sort of thing, you know? It's not my uh, uh, my my uh, desire to keep people, make people cry, and bring them to tears. So, uh, please, uh, Kathleen, let me know. Somebody what, buy Kevin a cup of coffee. There may be something else going on in her life right now. I don't know. You know, maybe Kevin's already really had too much coffee. I don't know. Yeah, but I think I think everybody tonight was in, was working rather nicely. You know. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Everything was smooth until I mentioned what Tony did last when last Thursday, or Wednesday rather, which I. You know, Tony's got Tony's got to get over that. He was in the wrong. I mean, he had he had the right to an opinion, but it got out of control. Well, Telling you to go fuck yourself was just totally wrong on all levels. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, if I. You know, if I'm pissed at you, if I'm that pissed at you that I'm gonna tell you to go fuck yourself, I'm gonna disconnect. Because I don't like the negativity, and it's not worth it. I'm just going to say, look, I can't talk. Goodbye. Pull the plug. Have a nice yeah. day. I'll call back on another yeah. day. But I, I don't know what the, there was something going on. I don't know, uh, and I don't know why Kathleen's father was there. I mean, uh, none of he it got made, well, he he's got nasty. He's typically well, there, there not, every nothing. day. What? He is typically there behind her. Oh, really? You don't see him, but occasionally she just says, "Oh, Dad." Don't, don't listen. Or, yeah. uh, oh, okay. Especially when you're yeah. talking. Yeah. So she often uh, mm -hmm. is getting, he's listening to, oh. to the show and, and her show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, Kathleen, uh, certainly let me know. I'd like to know what it was. Well, I hope, I hope she's you. okay. She's a nice lady. Yeah. And, and we would like to, you know, we'd like to have you back on the program as always. You're fun. Uh, plus, I'm slowly losing callers here. You know, I lost Robert Natale, and then I lost Tony, and now I've lost perhaps Kathleen. So, yeah, Kathleen will come back. You know, eventually She's I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to put this show. To, I'm gonna history. have to put this show to sleep and come up with a new idea. Anyway, let's all do this in the nude tomorrow. Let's, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs>
Except, no, 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 just kidding. That we, was all, humor. we all will except for you. Okay. Thank uh, God yeah, for that. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. An very, extra wide lens. Thank so. you very much, uh, Jeff. We appreciate it. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, uh, Josh. Good, good talking tonight. Good talking points tonight. Have a nice vacation, okay? Well, do. Uh, uh, John Larkin. See you tomorrow night, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow night, Kevin. Uh, nice having all of you here. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizens panel uh, for tonight. Uh, we'll be uh, putting another one together tomorrow if there are enough people to do it with. Uh, <laughs> we haven't had everybody gonna suddenly get put off by doing the show. Uh, and Kathleen, if you're listening, please uh, call us again. Let's get this whole thing kind of settled out, or at least write me. Anyway, listen, uh, we're. But we're off uh, for another 24 hours or 22 hours. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And by the way, if you haven't gotten a vaccination, what's keeping you from doing it?